Thank you, Lord, for loving me. We serve a mighty God whose love knows no bounds. Join me in expressing our deepest gratitude for this divine affection that graces our lives each day. Amidst the chaos and noise of our daily lives, it's a profound blessing to pause and reflect on the true source of our ultimate joy and peace. Have you ever felt a deep sense of gratitude, so overwhelming that it fills your entire being, lifting your spirit like a gentle yet persistent breeze under the wings of an eagle? This sensation, this profound awareness of gratitude, is what we will explore today. As we explore the depths of God's love, let us think about the immense grace that surrounds us. I'm also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Imagine, my friends, you are walking through a bustling city square where every face is a story and every hurried step is a journey. Amidst this crowd, Someone stops you, looks into your eyes, and hands you a heartfelt letter addressed to you by name. As you unfold the paper, the words you are loved greet you warmly. This scenario isn't just an everyday occurrence. It's a rare, special recognition that mirrors how God views each of us in the whirlwind of life's demands. Just as that letter would make us feel acknowledged and loved, so does our Lord's divine affection for us. In the book of Jeremiah, the prophet captures this beautifully in Jeremiah 31 verse 3. The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Now, let us explore the transformative power of love. At the core of transformation through divine love, is the understanding that God's love is not conditional. Unlike human love, which often comes with expectations and conditions, God's love is pure, unconditional, and ever-present. Paul illustrates this beautifully to the Ephesians in Ephesians 1 verse 7. In Him, we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of His grace. This underscores the idea that our relationship with God is rooted not in what we have done, but in what He has done for us. When we truly grasp the magnitude of God's love, our identity begins to transform. We no longer identify primarily as our profession, our roles, or even our failures. Instead, we see ourselves first and foremost as children of God. This profound shift in identity is crucial because it influences every decision we make and every relationship we hold. It redefines our priorities and reshapes our ambitions. With a new identity comes a new purpose. Understanding that we are loved by God gives our lives a new direction, a purpose driven not by selfish desires, but by divine will. This is exemplified in the life of Moses who, after encountering God, went from being a shepherd in the desert to leading the Israelites out of Egypt. His purpose was aligned with God's plan, driven by divine love and promise, as noted in Exodus 3 verses 10 to 12. God's love casts out fear. The knowledge that the Creator of the universe loves us unconditionally provides a profound sense of security and peace. 1 John 4, verse 18 reminds us, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. My friends, this means that, in our darkest moments, we can cling to the truth of God's perfect love as a source of strength. When we are secure in God's love, 
we are empowered to extend that love to others. This isn't always easy, especially when it involves forgiving those who have wronged us. Yet, this is what we are called to do. Jesus' teachings in Matthew 5 verse 44 highlight this. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. This radical love is a direct outcome of understanding and accepting God's love for us. The transformative power of God's love also provides us with the endurance to face trials. Knowing we are deeply loved and valued by God gives us the resilience to withstand hardships. Paul's words to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8 resonate with this truth. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. In these trials, the knowledge of God's love is not merely comforting, it's sustaining. Divine love also calls us to holiness. It's an invitation to live lives that reflect God's purity and righteousness. 1 Peter 1 verse 15 urges the early Christians, But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. This call to holiness is empowered by love, not driven by fear or obligation. It's a response to the love we've received, a desire to be like the one who loves us so deeply. The love of God also has the power to heal old wounds. Many of us carry scars from past hurts and disappointments. The realization that God loves us with an everlasting love helps heal those scars and frees us from the bitterness and pain that often hold us back. Isaiah 61 verse 1 speaks of Christ's mission to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Understanding God's love inspires generosity. When we recognize how much we have been given freely and undeservingly, we are motivated to give generously ourselves. This isn't limited to financial generosity, but extends to our time, our talents, and our attention. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 7 highlights this, encouraging us to excel in the grace of giving. The peace that comes from knowing that God loves us is unlike any other. It surpasses human understanding and guards our hearts and minds, even in difficult times. This peace is a direct result of the transformative power of God's love. The journey of faith is marked by a deep, abiding joy that comes from knowing we are loved by God. This joy is not dependent on circumstances, but on the enduring truth of God's love. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 underscores how divine love not only comforts, but empowers and invigorates us. The joy of the Lord is your strength. My friends, the love of God secures our future hope. In a world of uncertainty, the promise of eternal life with God provides a hopeful perspective on our current struggles and challenges. 1 John 2 verse 25 reassures us, and this is the promise that He has promised us eternal life. This hope is not wishful thinking, but a guaranteed promise from the one who loves us eternally. Let us now explore being sustained by God's love. As we think about the sustenance that God's love provides, let's consider how this constant support shapes our lives during times of trial and tribulation. Just as a steady rain nourishes a thirsty land, so does God's love continuously refresh and sustain us, providing strength and renewal when we need it most.
in moments of weakness or despair. It's the enduring promise of God's presence that upholds us. Isaiah 41 verse 10 offers a profound reassurance. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Here, the prophet Isaiah doesn't just speak to the immediate needs of the people. He addresses the enduring nature of God's support throughout all generations. When challenges arise, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and isolated. However, the knowledge that God loves us and stands beside us can transform our perspective on these challenges. We're not abandoned or forgotten. We are continuously in the care of the Almighty. This realization allows us to face difficulties, not with fear, but with courage. David, even while hiding from his enemies, could declare in Psalm 23, verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The assurance of God's presence turns fear into fortitude, transforming the darkest valleys into paths of light. Furthermore, God's love provides not just spiritual, but also physical sustenance. Philippians 4, verse 19, assures us, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. This promise captures the comprehensive nature of God's provision, which encompasses our emotional, physical, and spiritual needs. It's a reminder that our sustenance is not dependent on worldly resources, but on the riches of God's grace and mercy. The sustenance of divine love also fosters resilience. We become like trees planted by the waters, which do not fear when heat comes. Their leaves are always green, and they do not cease to bear fruit, as described in Jeremiah 17, verse 8. This imagery of resilience and constant growth, even in adverse conditions, is a powerful metaphor for how we are sustained by God's love. No matter the external circumstances, the love of God ensures that we continue to grow and thrive. This divine sustenance is a wellspring of hope. We are reminded in Lamentations 3, verses 22 to 23, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This perpetual renewal of mercy is a source of daily strength and hope, enabling us to persevere through trials with a steadfast heart. In our interactions with others, knowing we are sustained by God's love empowers us to extend the same kind of enduring support to those around us. We become conduits of God's love channels through which His sustaining power flows into the lives of others. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 encourages us. Therefore comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. This mutual support is crucial in building a community that reflects the love and sustenance we receive from God. The peace that God's love provides also sustains us. It is a peace that does not merely calm, but strengthens the soul against despair. John 14 verse 27 presents the words of Jesus. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This peace 
is an anchor, keeping us steady in the stormiest seas, assuring us that we are never alone. God's sustaining love is also corrective. It realigns our path when we stray and guides us back to righteousness. Proverbs 3 verses 11 to 12 tells us, my son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, nor detest his reproof, for whom the Lord loves he corrects, just as a father, the son in whom he delights. The discipline of God, driven by his love, ensures that we are not merely wandering aimlessly, but are moving towards spiritual maturity and deeper communion with him. In our moments of triumph and joy, the sustaining love of God reminds us to remain humble and grateful. It is easy to feel self-sufficient when things go well, but James 1 verse 17 reminds us, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. This perspective keeps our successes in context, attributing them to God's grace and not our own abilities. God's love also sustains us by reminding us of our ultimate hope in Christ. Romans 8, verses 35 to 39, speaks of the unbreakable bond of love between us and Christ, which sustains us through all trials, affirming that nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This assurance is our eternal anchor, holding us firm, no matter how fierce the storms of life may be. My friends, the love of God nurtures our spirit, enriching our relationship with Him and deepening our faith. As we walk daily in the awareness of His sustaining love, our spiritual journey is marked by continual renewal and deeper intimacy with God. Psalm 91 verse 1 tells us, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Here we find a place of profound security and perpetual sustenance. And now, let us turn our attention to a life of gratitude inspired by divine love. Let's explore the ways that God's profound love reshapes our hearts and minds, steering us toward more thankfulness and contentment. Gratitude in our spiritual life begins when we fully acknowledge the magnitude of what God has done for us the realization of His sacrifice and constant presence in our lives naturally cultivates a heart of thankfulness. Psalm 107 verse 1 expresses this sentiment, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. This isn't just a call to thankfulness. It's a recognition of God's enduring goodness and mercy, qualities that foster deep gratitude. The awareness of God's love shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance we possess. Philippians 4 verse 12 speaks to this transformation. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Paul's contentment was rooted in his relationship with Christ, a relationship that filled his life with profound gratitude regardless of external circumstances. In this piece, there is a grateful acknowledgement that God's provision is sufficient, that His care is complete, and that His ways are perfect. Experiencing God's forgiveness also deepens our gratitude. Ephesians 1 verse 7 tells us, In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins 
according to the riches of His grace, recognizing that we are forgiven fully and freely can only lead to a grateful response. This forgiveness is not something we could earn or achieve on our own. It is a gift from God and gifts this profound breed gratitude deep within our souls. Gratitude is further nurtured through the trials we endure as these challenges often bring into sharper focus the faithfulness of God. The constant renewal of God's mercies each day is another reason for our gratitude. They are new every morning. Every new day is a testament to God's unfailing love and mercy, prompting a daily renewal of our gratitude. In moments of blessing and abundance, recognizing God as the source of all good things enhances our gratitude. Gratitude also encourages us to cherish and honor the relationships that God has placed in our lives. As we reflect on the love and support of friends and family, we see the hand of God in our interactions. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 instructs us in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This includes giving thanks for the people around us, recognizing their value as gifts from God. In the quiet moments of reflection, when we consider the beauty of creation and the wonders of the life God has given us, our hearts overflow with gratitude. Gratitude, in turn, impacts the way we view our own lives. It shifts our perspective from one of scarcity or desire for more to one of abundance and fulfillment. Colossians 3 verse 15 encourages us, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. This peace and thankfulness go hand in hand, each nurturing and supporting the other. The practice of gratitude becomes a spiritual discipline that shapes our daily lives enriching our gratitude and making it a fundamental expression of our worship. My friends, a grateful heart is a joyful heart. This joy, rooted in gratitude, empowers and sustains us, providing strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Therefore, let us anchor our hearts in the truth that each day presents a new opportunity to live a life of gratitude. When we start each morning with a thankful heart, we open ourselves to the fullness of God's blessings and prepare ourselves to face whatever comes our way with a spirit of joy and contentment. Let us also meditate on the profound gratitude that springs from recognizing God's boundless love, allowing it to enrich our hearts and guide our steps each day in faithful reflection of His grace and goodness. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of praise for your magnificent glory and unending love. You are the God of all creation, the King of kings and Lord of lords, whose works are wonderful and whose mercy endures forever. Lord, you are my fortress and my shield. Your name is a strong tower where I find safety and peace. I thank you, Lord, for your boundless grace and the countless blessings you have poured upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your faithfulness and for the gift of your divine love that sustains and transforms me. 
in your presence, I find fullness of joy and a peace that surpasses all understanding. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you today, asking for your forgiveness. As you forgive me, I also extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your command to love. Lord, as I navigate the challenges of life, I lean on your sustaining love, which grants me strength in times of weakness and hope during moments of despair. Father, empower me to reflect your love in all my interactions, that I might be a beacon of your light in this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke every plan of the enemy, aimed at my peace and joy. I bind every spirit of fear, anxiety, and discouragement, declaring freedom in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your love and peace reign in my heart, driving out all darkness and filling me with your eternal light. I declare healing over my body, mind, and spirit. For by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed and made whole. I rebuke every form of sickness, disease, pain, and injury, commanding them to leave my body in the name of Jesus. Lord, extend your healing hand over my loved ones and let them experience your power and restoration. I ask for your divine protection over my life and the lives of my loved ones. Guard us from harm, lead us away from temptation, and shield us from the attacks of the enemy. Lord, dispatch your angels to surround us, and let your favor cover us like a shield. I am grateful that no harm will come near our dwelling, for we are secure under your wings. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us anew, to guide us, and to empower us. Together, we claim victory over every challenge, and we declare that through your love, we are more than conquerors. We ask for blessings of abundance, health, and wisdom. May our lives be testimonies of your unending goodness. Protect us, guide us, and use us for your glory. Let our days be filled with your presence, and may we always walk in the assurance of your love. Let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our daily Jesus devotional channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself.
Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.